Well, here we start off with the schematic of a Yule Thief. It's a very simple circuit to build, and it only needs very few components. And um, you can especially have it when you have an old battery from a clock or radio, 1.5 volts. And normally the items stop working at, say, 1.2 volts. You can drain the battery down to about 0 0.4, 0 0.5 volts in a simple oscillator circuit. So you put the battery in here, one kilo ohm resistor, you got a little coil, a toroid, you make it out of a bit of uh, wire, about 10 to 15 turns. Standard transistor, BC547, triple two, triple two, and any, no, it's not critical, and an LED. And um, it's a very simple circuit, it works, it drains it down to uh, quite low uh, voltage. So I'm showing you how to build it, and I'm going to build it in here. I've got one going here at the moment. That's been sitting at about 1.1 volts, that battery, and I've got a lower one, which is all completely exhausted, but I'll show you that it will still work at 0.4 volts or thereabouts. I had to build this circuit in 3D because it's, I could, it couldn't draw one of these calls. Just in the process of putting it together, I nearly forgot to turn the camera on, so I'll make the connection here to the base of the transistor. I got it on, so it's awkward when you try to do it on camera. So I haven't tested it yet, so if it works, it will be fantastic. If it doesn't work, uh, we may get some smoke. 1.5 volt cell, negative, positive, see if it works, ah, wires come off, shit soldering, I need to solder that a bit better, a little dab of solder on there, and that should hopefully work. These telephone wires are quite hard to solder sometimes, it's got uh, that coating on the outside. So this is the way you connect up the BC547, but there's plenty of equivalent transistors and you can look at the diagrams on the internet. So yeah, let's just to give you a visual for this device here. Then the circuit uh, with the call. Um, the outgoing wires, they need to be crossed more or less, and if you don't do it right, you just have to swap uh, the two terminals over. Then it either works or it doesn't work. I'll turn the light off and it looks a bit better now. Um, we've got the 1K resistor here, it's visible here, the 547 transistor, green LED, any color you can pick, blue, yellow, whatever. And at the battery, I only use one battery on this thing here, so 1.5 volts. I'll show you one uh, how vo low the voltage can get on this other particular circuit, which had been sitting there for quite a while. I need to fit the other battery in there because that ba I got one battery is down to 0 0.4 volts, and uh, I'm surprised it still works. So this little unit is still going, and the battery is down to 0 0.459 volts, and that's the one I made a couple of days ago. And you can really drain the last electron out of the battery. I actually should put in a multimeter. Now I've got the readings again on this tab, put an ammeter as well. So we're doing about 5 milliampere here. Voltage is 0 0.48 volts. And that little circuit is still working. So it is draining heaps out of the battery. I will put a bigger battery in there, a fuller battery, and then also show you what current it was. So it's a very cool little circuit to play with. Especially now it's COVID uh, days, uh, just have an experiment. I'm going to swap the battery over. Um, this battery is a fuller battery. It's obviously draws a bit more current. Well, this is pounding out 44 milliampere, I'm quite surprised. This battery is uh, 1.3 volts. And the LEDs are very bright now. 
surprised me that exceeded my expectation that was uh, so much 43 milliampere I was expecting a lot less but um, yeah also a low battery 1.3 volts it wouldn't be doing anything to an uh, clock or anything else like that so yeah there we go here's the jewel thief um, these little coils yeah they're easy to abstain they you can take them out of circuit boards television sets or you can purchase some from uh, shop like jcars or whatever yeah, that's a bit bigger one i'll uh, do a way how to call or put the windings in i'll show you a couple of steps not the whole call but just uh just a few turns and see uh, how it's going to look out okay i filled my last uh, part in the 3d diagram so I'll put a call on here so the two wires on these calls um, they wound the same way but the ends need to be swapped over one goes to the base of the transistor from the second winding and the uh, start of that winding goes via the 1k resistor through the winding to the base of the transistor the other winding goes to the collector of the transistor and it controls the LED so just a quick tip uh, winding the call this is a bigger type call but uh, just for the visual aspect so keep the wires nice together in this particular case I've got a brown and a blue wire, they're thicker wires, but it doesn't matter. Loop them through the center and try to keep them nicely laid next to each other. It can be a bit awkward. The rest is solid core wire, like old telephone type wire. It seems to be doing the job quite nicely to get that uh, core uh, wound. So i just do a couple of here as an example. So that's uh, the whole idea of making the call. So you need about 15 turns, 15, could even go to 20 turns put it all together and then uh, yeah make a yule thief and um, you can make them of I show maybe another video but I'll uh, make some up in little push button torches just hand the handy little things for around the place still like to show you a quick visual I just disconnected the battery that flat 0.45 volt battery and uh, see how quick it decays as soon as I energize the device I energize the device now and it's you see down 0 0.6, 7.65. 0 Here's the, LED, the two dim glowing LEDs. It drops down very quickly. Should get tidier, but I'm making progress. So I'll sort out some stuff here. Tidied up the resistors. Uh, calls, inductors, capacitors. Sort that part out. Still a lot more to do, but um, yeah, it's, it's just piling all these uh, bits and pieces out here, diodes, uh, fuses, and got some other shelving here, rectifiers, MOTs, single parts, whatever, so yeah, there we go. I hope you enjoyed the video, and uh, if you have any questions on this little jewel thief, uh, just post them, and uh, we'll, we'll try to give you some advice. Thanks for watching. It's quite interesting, I just uh, noticed this uh, 4.9 milliampere and 0.49 volts, I <laughs> just added in. <laughs>